I'm Mark. And I'm Lisa. And we're the Shimos. We've lived all of our adult lives in Indiana, central Indiana, and um, we were uh, longtime attenders of a, of a large church up there, which we loved and um, you know, served in and committed to and uh, been a, a part of for, for a long time. And uh, one of the, the real c concerns or issues that we had was, you know, leaving our church home and would, you know, where would God lead us? Um, so when we came down here, that was... Yeah, what church is going to fill that hole? That's a big hole when you move. We came to New Walk. Um, I think that was the last church we looked at. Uh, and we kind of knew right when we... We knew it was home. Yeah. yeah. When you're new in a church, it's a little overwhelming, especially one the size of New Walk. Uh, but we dug into a connection group and decided that we loved it and we wanted to we wanted to do more. We wanted to serve. And so we um, decided to join the worship team, audition and join the worship team, which is great. Uh, that's kind of our permanent group, our people that we see all the time. And then as we, we get into connection groups, it's making our circle of of connection just that much greater. So when we're looking at giving, it is the first thing we do. When a paycheck comes in, we send our, our tithe off first. It's like that money wasn't ours to begin with because it's not. God gives us everything that we have. And so we take care of that first thing and then we live off what is left, but we wanna make sure that we're giving God our first. When we were talking the other day, we would no sooner not sing uh, praise and worship songs to the Lord than we than we would not give. It's part of the same thing and it's the same blessing um, as part of, of the worship service. I think giving is tied to the whole church experience. When I think of New Walk, I think of all of the events that New Walk does, the egg drop, the winter wonderland, um, everything that they're doing. And to know that what God has blessed us with is in turn turning into a blessing through that, that outreach, that ministry, whatever it is. It's just the body of Christ coming together and giving what God has blessed them with. It all ties in together. I mean, Gary has said, you know, uh, we're, we're plan A. There is no plan B uh, to spread the gospel of Jesus. And um, the giving that goes into that and to see how the impact and the lives that are changed with that, that is what, uh, I mean, that, that makes, that, that's exciting.